Hi, and welcome to the GoGen Planner Cast, Episode 7. Um, things for you to find interesting, hopefully, would be the Fobonichi Journalers, Journaling Junkies, Lister's Got a List, and Zentangles. I'm uh, in those groups and find they are really lots of fun. I don't have much to talk about this week, so we're just going to do a pretty quick flip through, and hopefully it won't take too long. Main thing of the week is that my grandson had his first day of sixth grade on Monday, and then he made it through the whole week, so we're really proud of him. I started a new crochet project. This is Fortune's Chalette, the patterns on Ravelry, and um, I really enjoy the way I can incorporate my crafting in my journaling uh, because now they have kind of taken over my life, which is a good thing. I had talked last week about not being able to figure out how to work the stickers that you download and then print yourself. So this week I took a spreadsheet and uh, put a certain little picture, a little icon in the cell. And I did that for uh, four rows of four stickers. And then I copied that three times to make this set, which is a, a full sheet of stickers. Um, so then I ran that through the printer, and when it comes out, it's a lot easier if you take the paper cutter, paper trimmer, the big slice thing, and um, just slice into the four sections, and it goes into my sticker book really easily. I can keep one in my planner. Um, so that made me a lot happier. Um, these are the stickers I want to use, and I made them myself. So um, it was kind of tedious to, because I would go, I went out on the internet and found the icon for each thing, and then copied it in my spreadsheet. These are for my own personal use, and I'm not selling this at all or profiting. Um, it, it's just for me, so. You know, anyway. <laughs> um, my loot I got this week is this package of page border stickers. This is more for uh, scrapbooking, but I figured I can always cut them down to fit in my planner. So um, this was a deal that came on peachycheap.com. Uh, you sign up and then you get an email every day with whatever special um, deal they have for the day and this was one um, I've ordered another one that's supposed to be a jumbo collection of stickers and um, you get to see what you're ordering and it, it was a it is it's a ton of stickers and with shipping it came to about 1050 uh, US so um, that was a good deal because you know how quickly sticker sheets add up in cost. So I'm looking forward to getting that. And that was peachycheap.com. Okay. And I suggest that you just go there and sign up. And they'll send you one email a day. I also ordered and received a three set of journals for my Field Notes um, journal from a... O R journals on Etsy, um, and this I got the light orange color covers. One um, I like this. This is a mixed set. One is dots, one is lines, and one is uh, grid. So on one of them, I just I took that night and I had the best time zentangling over that color cover, um, and that really makes it mine. So when I'm ready to use this, I will probably um, cover the cover in pack and tape to make sure, you know, it doesn't get messed up or whatever. Because that's the cheap person's lamination system is pack and tape. So here's the flip through. That's uh, my clear pocket that I made from the page protector and then uh, washi up the sides. And I've got that with uh, Zentangles insert. I've got some stickers in there. 
and I had a really good time uh, journaling this week. Um, and I, I did want to comment that I've noticed on some of the videos that I watch on YouTube, you know, they'll say journal with me and it's, they don't, they don't journal. They just put stickers and pretty stuff and pockets and die cuts and washi and, um, basically cover up everything on the page I watched one where she took an Erin Condren two-page spread and covered up everything from the bottom section to the side to the areas where you write stuff in the days. I, I, I don't do that. I will go back and decorate after I've journaled because, as I've said many times, the journaling is what I'm here for. So I'll try to remember sometimes to leave space for washi tape. Um, I had a really good time thinking about several projects that I want to get done, like, um, it's, I know it's August, but that means it's time to start holiday crafting, because presents don't just make themselves, um, so I was trying to figure out what to make for whom. Um, I wrote out notes for the planner cast, for the, uh, podcast I do on crochet, um, I did some journaling to help me figure out what project I want to do this fall. Um, because the Harry Potter House Cup group has a three-month project. It's called an OWL. If you remember, remember your Harry Potter, that's like the big exam. Um, and so I'm thinking about what I want to do for that and how that is going to work in with my uh holiday crafting so that just it made me really more aware of what I was doing um, this is a little zentangle I was trying to learn it's called quandary and you it's supposed to be really simple but I I just couldn't get it to work like I wanted it to um, uh, it was really frustrating me and I kept trying to make it right um, last week I had the cardboard cover in scrapbook paper and then I also had the little cover that comes with the 12 month calendars they usually come out in December and they're usually about a dollar um, it it worked just fine I put the cardboard cover inside the um, calendar cover and made myself really nice uh, dashboard and so I'm really happy with that. Um, in my listing this week, I tried to do fancy lettering. Um, I went to Llama's Love Lettering. You can look that up on YouTube. And she has lessons that help you um, practice, you know, nice lettering. And because most of the time it's a thing of you, you're going too fast, you need to slow down and be mindful of what it is you're doing. So that's what I did. I tried to do my fancy writing for my listers got a list challenges this week. And here you see where I used my homemade stickers. And um, boy, did I have fun and was really happy to use those. So, yay. And those I did put the stickers on and then fit the words on the page. Um, because this is the challenge. This is not so much the journaling. And there's a difference for me anyway. This is the July and August spread in my calendar. Uh, and you'll notice this is the third week of August and there is absolutely nothing that I have to do this week. <laughs> if only I didn't have to go to work. It'd be great. Um, this is a before picture of my two-page weekly spread for this past week. So here's before and after. And that just makes me so happy. That um, I just, it helps me remember what I did, how I was feeling, um, 
funny things that happen, things that made me angry or whatever. And um, I just really had a great time with it. I, I love this. And I really enjoy my check boxes for every day to make sure that I um, remember to, to take my meds, to exercise. You know, if I can get a check mark for it, it makes it a whole lot more worthwhile. <laughs> and here is next week's um, sp spread, nice and clean. The only thing I have uh, as noted on my calendar page there is that it's a long weekend because I'm taking Monday off. And that's the only thing that I have this whole week. And here's the week afters. And you'll notice that there's nothing to do that whole week except from 2 to 4 that Saturday. I have two things to do. One is a shower, a wedding shower, and the other is an open house. Of course, they're from both from 2 to 4 that day. I just thought that was hilarious. I wanted to share this quote from you that I stole from Journaling Junkies on Instagram. Journaling is like whispering to oneself and listening at the same time. I found that that really is true because you, you may have a thought and zoom, it's through your brain and it's gone. But if you decide to write it down, you have to think, you have to spell the words, you have to put the pen on the paper and write it out. And then, once it's written, you'll go back and read it again. So that makes you think the thought at least three times, if not more, depending on uh, how significant it is. So um, that, that should be my motto because I really, really do love it. And I'm recommending Sense8. It's streaming on Netflix. I am truly enjoying it. I'm about halfway through the first season and loving it. Um, uh, I will say it has uh, nudity and language, so if that, that kind of thing offends you, you, you don't. it will not be good for you. But if you can handle that, then I think this is a wonderful uh, show to really make you think. Oh, there's my planner all nice and closed up. I found something to use as a charm. This is actually a stitch marker. And it was made by Star Knits on Etsy. So, uh, and that really makes me happy because it's a little Ravenclaw charm at the bottom. Because that's what house I know. That's where the sorting hat would have put me. <laughs> okay. You can find me as Gojin on Ravelry, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, I love your comments. If you have any questions, suggestions, um, anything like that, let me know. Um, I enjoy doing this and I really hope you enjoy watching. And so I'll let you get back to your planning and have a great week. Thank you for sharing your time with me.